Google processes more than 5 billion searches a day. The amount of data they have to sort through is out of this world, literally. One figure that we talk about is that if you took all the pages that we know about across the web, they stretch to the moon and back 12 times. To help us navigate the vast reach of the web, Google search liaison Danny Sullivan takes us through the new search instruction manual online, of course. It's called How Google Search Works. Danny compares it to the car owner's manual we never read. But then someday you actually do read it and you go, this is really helpful. I understood things about this car I drive all the time that I didn't know. Uh, Algorithms. Uh, yeah. Let's dig into that for a minute. It's kind of like your, your user manual for Google. It explains to you how these results are generated, how we automatically find content from across the web and other sources. It's updated constantly with blog posts, videos, and more. Next, get specific with special characters by using quotation marks and the minus sign. With the minus symbol, kind of how it works with math, if you put the minus symbol in front of a word, or a series of words, then we won't look for that. The quotation marks do the opposite, only returning searches with exactly what you're looking for. If you do a search, find only the pages that have that particular word or words that you put around it. This is helpful if you're looking for a specific size or color of a clothing item. We'll wrap with visual search. You simply open the Google app, take a picture with Google Lens, then search. Ooh, what is this? It even translates several languages. What does it say? Good to know. It also works with the Chrome web browser. You could right click on the image and say search for this and bring you back more results in a visual manner that seem to match it. You can find it in the free Google app available for Android and iOS. Digging through the Google toolbox to become super searchers.